this is the first book review I've done. Um, I wanted to review this book for a while. It's called Sex at Dawn. It's by um, Christopher Ryan and Casilda Jathar. I hope I'm saying her name correctly. I read it last year and it's an interesting book that talks about how Western society's mainstream theory of monogamy and how people mate is a little bit skewed. The first thing I want to say about Sex at Dawn is it's not just about a load of kinky bonobos, although you might think it is. In essence, it's a very uh, well-researched, or seemingly very well-researched, um, piece of literature uh, discussing how human sexuality is not as monogamous as we like to think, and actually closer to our, some of our nearest cousins, bonobos, who I've just mentioned, and um, also chimpanzees. Also contained with it is a critique of property, in a sense, uh, in the fact that property functions to transfer um, accumulated wealth from father to son, from father to son, and from father to son, but obviously this leaves out of the equation women who in earlier times were essentially treated as property. One word for you, butt bras. Definitely something very interesting going on with butt bras, I think. <clears throat> from a purely social cultural perspective, of course. Some books are kind of a bit like can openers. They have one purpose, one very specific purpose, but Sex at Dawn is a bit more like a Swiss army knife. There's a variety of things coming out of it. You know, arguments about the way economic uh, situations are organised, uh, how we treat our nearest cousins, bonobos, uh, our attitudes towards monogamy and sex. But at the same time, some of those functions are a bit dangerous, and that's probably why it's such an interesting book, I think. The main problem with it, as is the case with many ambitious works, is that it tends to spread itself rather thinly over a wide range of areas, anthropology, primatology, um, economic sociology to a certain extent. There's a lot going on there, obviously not um, always explicitly discussed in the book, and as a consequence it leaves itself open to a certain amount of criticism. Um, however, that doesn't mean you shouldn't read it, it's very interesting, and its ambition is definitely inspiring, I would say. It's definitely quite a left-field kind of book, so maybe not the best purchase for Granny this coming Christmas. In fact, you're probably better off going for the butt bra.